All right, guys, after a crazy winter, super busy, and then this pandemic thing, I'm finally getting back at it. Uh, I just had the custom make my own uh, bolts for the control arms, and we're gonna start fabbing up the suspension shortly. As you can see, I've made uh, just a quick little mock-up for fabbing up these arms. Um, just some MDF, mounted this at exactly the height on the center as to where the wheel is going to sit. Um, I'm going with a 16 inch wheel and the lowest profile tire I can get, which I believe should give me a 22 inch diameter. Um, so I had to make my own, my own bolts. There we go. Um, first time I've ever tried using my lathe, I uh, just got it. And I think they turned out pretty good. I had to get somebody else to do the threading on them because I wasn't sure how to do that at the time. So I just finished those. Next will be, uh, I have the suspension tabs being laser cut out. I've already done some mock-ups. Uh, so these will be sitting like this. And the only thing I'm unsure of yet is whether these will be too short on the top. Like if I'll end up with too much of a, too much camber when I do go up. Um, however, with the amount of travel I'm looking at, I don't think it'll be an issue. So all the suspension parts are in other than shocks. And yeah, we can get right ahead and start fabbing up. All right, so I had to get the tabs made more than once. So by the time I was all done, there was just too much, uh, too much filming to do. So I went ahead and tacked them all in place. Uh, I made my, I made all my templates with uh, just some 3 16 foam board. Works really nice when you're using 3 16 plate. Lets you know exactly what you got. And when they're taped in place, you can actually bolt everything together and they will hold it enough that uh, you can tack in your, uh, your arms. So this is a uh, one inch DOM. Uh, these are chromoly ends, chromoly ends, just didn't splurge for the chromoly here. Uh, they seem to weld up fairly nice. Uh, everything was TIG welded. Multiple tack ups, lots and lots of trimming and just shaving off a little tiny bit. Um, so here's the first side. So I've only got Okay, I did it the way that I needed to do. That's why I faced them this way. I don't need any more travel than this. This is sitting at ride height right now. So I'll have about two and a half inches of compression at the wheel. So this is a two inch mock-up block and it fits under here a fair bit. So actually out here, I'll be more than two inches up in the air. And at two inches, I believe I'll start hitting my upper fender. So pretty much don't have any more room than that to play with. Um, yeah, everything seemed to go good. I made two copies of each, each tube while I was doing this uh, for the second side. Um, I've also mocked up the foam board for my pushrod system. Okay, so for the pushrod, I've got a piece of plate cut out going on top of here. And then my, my rockers are on this angle. Pushrod coming up here, it pushes and the shock will be mounted here to here. Uh, that gave me 
the best option for radiator clearance and turbo clearance over here, um, as well as the exhaust manifold staying far enough away from it. And I was gonna go straight across this way, but just didn't have enough room for the turbo as well. So found a way to do her this way. Uh, all those pieces are being cut right now. And as soon as they're in, I can do both sides. So for the bottom for the push rod, I've got a piece of plate that goes on here, a small one, as well as a small vertical one that will sandwich between them underneath. And then two tabs coming up for the Heim and the push rod here. The push rods have multiple mounting options to allow me to adjust my spring rates. So here's a smaller version of what my rocker actually looks like. So basically it'll be sitting pretty much like that. And it will be pushing in that direction. Okay, I know it's a super short video this week. Um, I'm gonna try and push out more and make them a little bit shorter. Uh, I'm waiting on those other parts for the suspension here that I can get it, the rest of that fabbed up. I have boxes and boxes and boxes of new parts for the build. Uh, all my engine components are in, turbos in. Um, got the ECU fuel pump, uh, tons of uh, exhaust products, and we're gonna attempt to build our own stainless uh, turbo header as well. And yeah, so still got some more stuff to order yet, but most of it is here, and we can just keep plugging along and hopefully have her done in no time. Thank you for staying tuned.